to it's breaking inside out and I'm back before we get to it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, make sure you always watch the video. I'm stealing Sierra's man Runic. Okay. Yesterday I went to Universal with a group of people. Okay. And somebody was there. Okay. That has nothing to do with me. But of course I'm the one that gets all like I'm the one that gets like called out for something because, you know, I mean, um, you want the clout. Like I said, I am a 20 year old girl. Okay. I am not about to date somebody. How can I say this? I don't want nobody. Let's just put it like that. Okay. Girl, be quiet. That's my sister. Um, I don't want nobody. I promise. I sincerely do. I don't. Um, I was at, and it wasn't Disney World. I don't know where the hell Disney World came from, but Disney World is not Universal, okay? Universal and Disney is not connected. Am, am I right? Is Universal Disney? No. Two different things. Two different things. Yeah, two different things. So, yesterday... She, she just wanted to bring up Disney. She just wanted her son to go... <laughs> but listen, that has nothing oh. to do with me, okay? I am my own person. I was with a whole, a whole group of people. And I'm the one that gets picked up. Like, like I said, I'm not going to speak too much. See? Hey, that's what I always say. It's always, two sides. It's always two, two sides to a story. And then, like I said, she might, they might have put y'all two together because y'all are the two with the clout. Everybody else probably not. They're probably YouTubers, content creators, but they're probably not as big as y'all two. So therefore, that's why they said Jess and Running is at Disney. <laughs> and yeah, they had Universal. How they put Disney in? That is a little confusing. On it, but I was with a whole bunch of people, and a certain somebody was there. And I don't know, like, what they have going on. And so this is me at Universal having fun yesterday. And this is that, okay? So that's all I'm saying. I don't want nobody right now, never, or that person I don't want. Especially someone with two kids. That's baggage. That's drama. No one wants a man with two kids. That's 26. You're, you're 21, about to be 21. Yes. Why do you want that chaos in your life? I don't want Why that. Come, man. So it's like... Uh, you shouldn't say that. You, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I mean, look, everyone has their own preference of what they want to date, what they're willing not to date. So therefore, she's not... They're not wrong for that. But the kid part, it, again, that goes into your preference. That goes into your preference. I already told you <laughs> how it go with me what kind of girl would get even though I'm, I'm still willing to do it but it gotta be we gotta just make sure it's it's worth it because it is somewhat gonna be some drama depending on what's going on before you step into before you get involved into that situation if it's feeling still involved between the baby mama or the baby daddy yeah it's gonna be some drama it's gonna be some drama because hey I'm there with it I've, I've seen it I've seen it we all just seen it before we all just synced it before. Now, I seen it, we all just synced it, you feel me? But, I don't know, it's still the... Because, hey, not saying that she's going to be there, but you never know. You never know. You don't want to You don't want to be that shoe to fit you, and you're saying, and somebody said, oh, I wouldn't date this person because they're 26 and with two kids. Because then you're going to feel like, what? Like, that's, that's shady. So, therefore, it's like... Yeah, you can have your preference, but saying that does sound kind of like shady. Um, it's like people like see me hanging out with a whole bunch of group of people and then just like blew it up into something like you, you to went to Universal you. with this person, but you can't even take your kids. And, and, and I'm like, I have nothing to do with this. I don't care for running. That did make you look hella bad, bro. If she was considering to give you a chance, most smart, smart-minded females are not dealing with a dude. If you have kids, and you're not taking care of your kids. Some will, some will, some don't care. So, right, well, you're spending 24 hours with me, and you're not spending one hour with your kid. Oh well. 
It's some dudes that's it's some dudes that's willing to do that for females. It's some females that's willing to do that for for men. But the smart ones, uh, uh, question that. Like, hold on, what? Like, you're not doing like. But mind you, it is two sided to every story, and they wasn't even at Disney. <laughs> it's crazy though, man. Stop. Okay, whatever. Y'all got going on, leave me. Oh, like I literally, we it was a whole group of people. It wasn't just me and whatchamacallit, okay? Hey, he don't even get a name. Like, stop. Whatchamacallit. Like, I don't like the drama. <laughs> I'm literally living my life, okay? I'm sitting in my apartment healing. <laughs> so leave me like out that. of it. Leave my me out apartment. of it. Healing. I like that. Please. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Some of you guys don't know what's going on, but it's like, if you know, you know, because I'm not naming no names. Like... I'm not, no, okay? I don't want anybody, okay? That's cool. I don't want nobody. Man. So I'm just like, if and if you guys don't know what's going on. Oh, I, I hope y'all seen the comment that was like, it said, it said, y'all want her buying Pampers? <laughs> good, okay? I don't want nobody. I am okay. good on my own. Thank you. So don't involve me in no freaking... Okay. To stop. That's all I asked. That is all I asked. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. So I'm done speaking on it, but like I said, no, this is not about anybody you just named. No, stop. Um, like I said, I'm not saying no names, but yesterday I went to Universal and another influencer was there. Mind you, we was with a lot of people and another influencer was there. And that influencer has a baby mother and a, and they made it into a situation where you went to, you took her to Disney, uh, Disney. It wasn't Disney. It was Universal. No one took me. Um... <laughs> But it was it was a whole situation like I get I got picked out because I don't know if it's because I'm pretty or if it's because it's some type of going on. But um, yeah, just letting you guys know I don't want anybody. I'm not looking for anybody. Um, I don't want nobody. I don't want anybody. I don't want nobody's baby father oh, that sounds so crazy to say i'm young okay i am only 20 years old i went to universal yesterday to literally just have one that's it so leave me out of any drama any whatever the hell other people got going on because that ain't my business okay thank you and that's my last time speaking Hey, bro, y'all, go tell Jessica the prank star apologize, bro. I didn't mean no shit like that, man. And tell her, man, I fucked this up for Runic, man. Runic really was excited about meeting her. And, you know, I don't know. They was going on a date or where I don't know, man. But I fucked it up, bro. Y'all go tell Jessica the prank star apologize. I was drunk. And I said, man, said some shit I shouldn't have said, man. So, please, y'all go fix that shit for me. I admit it. It's too late, my boy. It's too late. Like I said... If she was possibly, I said she was, but if she was possibly considering, maybe, maybe giving giving running a chance, it's probably over. Because again, who wants to be in that type of drama, especially at her age? Who wants who wants to be in it in general? Who wants to be in it at her age? Twenty year old, dealing with baby mom? Nah, that's <laughs> nah. <laughs> especially why she why she just got out of her relationship is like she just said she's in her apartment. Healing, I like that thing. That I like that, bro. Hey, to anybody that's trying to heal, make sure you do it, bro. Hey, hey, I'm here for you. Make sure that you do it, sis. Make sure that you do it, brother. Whoever, do your thing. Make sure that you heal up right. But for uh for this situation, like I said, if she was considering giving chance over, it's it's probably ninety percent, ninety five percent over. Cause it's like again, who wants to deal with that type of drama? And then like even even if you even if you was thinking like, all right. 
I might get, I might deal with the situation. It might not be no drama. It might just be you no know, some that that's it's normal. To, to like super normal to, to, sometimes to deal with, but it might not possibly happen. But then it happened. So therefore, yeah, I'm there. Yeah, not for not for the walk that. I got drunk and I said the wrong shit, and now me and Runa ain't seeing eye to eye right now, bro. Kaisenet responds to Kanye West calling him an industry plant. Hey. <laughs> Yay, I've been doing this shit since 2018, gang. Facebook, me, hmm. Bronx, funny skits. Been doing this shit, Yay. You feel me? All because a lot of people, all because a lot. Man, fuck that. The pants ain't fit, my. I think. Why are we arguing, bro? Kanye West is just like every other fashion brand. They want to put out what they want to put out and expect people to accept it. I look at all of Kanye West's clothes. It's like, bro, I don't see how y'all wearing this. Honestly, I don't see what you... Like, <laughs> bro, I remember, like, when it comes to black tees, when your black tee turns, start looking grayish. It's time to throw it away. But he's setting it, but it's, it's vintage. It's, vintage. it's a vintage look, so therefore, it's like, I get it. But then again, it's like, bro, it's completely oversized. And then... When he, uh, I forgot, he, he had, like, one one season of, of, of his clothing. He had literally, like, literally, a big, giant trash bags sitting in the middle of a store. That lets you know he, like, bro, this is, like, take what I'm going to give y'all and accept it. Don't question it. That's what I get from that. <laughs> like, that's literally what I get from that, bro. Especially as a person who has a clothing brand, and then you see... Like the, I see what it takes, like the amount that it takes for me to get, you know, an outfit done. So looking at the other people who have way more money, who have way more access, who have, you know, way more material to work with. And then look at the prices that they hit people with. Yeah, I wish I would. I wish I would, bro. I wish I would. Like people, y'all are literally buying someone's name. That's literally what you're buying. You're buying somebody's name. Not to sport it for everybody, but a vintage t-shirt, you go get it from the fashion district, it costs five dollars. And that's probably the store I'll go to. Five dollars. Man, what the fuck? <laughs> bro, man, just send me some new pants, bro. Bro, just send me bro all of this cause my pants ain't fit. Nigga, that ain't even fit, nigga even fit Phantom with the cannon. Yeah, just send me some new pants, bro. Like, no cap. We don't even got to be do like, you feel me, bro? I'm as, I'm far from an industry. Kaisen is also taking precaution when it comes to women visiting him. Just walk through. Just walk through. Just walk through. Right there, right there. Take this. Babe, what do you have back there? It's this, uh, it's this protocols. Protocols? Yeah. Wait, hold on. How how tall is this girl? I love me a short, bro. That's why I'm asking. But, bro, is Kai already short? He's already like 5'3". How tall is this girl got to be like 5'8"? Or 5'8". <laughs> you got to be like 4'8". That's crazy. <laughs> He's short as hell, oh, boy. I, 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 I'm not 6 foot. Hey, man. I love this short girl. Cell phone, please. Cell phone in here. All right, we need to check your vitals. My vitals? Yeah. Vitals. We need all that. Make sure you're not going to pass out in here. Check it, please. Make sure you're not going to pass out in here and say, I did something to you. Thank you. You came in healthy, you're going to leave healthy.
cap. Even though this is just just a skit, he really do need to be doing some of this stuff, bro. At least some of it, bro. Cause, bro, it's like the girls, the girls are the people. Not even saying the girls, cause it'd be some some weird dudes that do it too. But the people that expose people, bro, you make it hard for the people who are who who are you know still regular and genuine. Just think about it. If it wasn't so many people being on some gold digger stuff or just trying to, you know, expose somebody for some clout, regular folks like us, like us, would have a, a more of a chance of getting somebody who's a, cele- a celebrity or somebody. We would have more of a chance. But because of so many gold diggers and clout chasers, they they not willing to take that chance because they like, hold on, bro, like, hold on. Like, <laughs> I got something major. I got something. I I come with what a major, major something. You come with just what you come with, and it, uh, that risk not really worth it. Even though still dealing with somebody who who come with the same you no know, bag that you come with, still some still might go left. But you do gotta be cautious, man. Yeah. Hi. Um. Yo, this game real tight. I ask a question. But thanks. Uh, what's your name? What's oh, that's a lot. Him, I would have stacks of at the you. door, bro. Okay. And uh, yo, at least make you wait. It's just protocol. Okay, all right. Hi, who am I here with today? Um, Madeline Elizabeth Jones. Hi, uh, Jenna Rosa Hey, you know why we're here, right? Give Kyle water. Yeah, I think right. I know who this girl is. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a nice day. Remember, stay amazing. I think I remember who that girl is now. I think she was in the twenty versus one, bro. She is a fire little Hispanic chick. If that's the girl I'm thinking about, make sure you like and subscribe. Catch you next one.